Americans often like to have big cars. They drive long distances. Um, you know, there's a sort of tradition of big cars in America. Does the administration, does the government then force GM to make small cars because that's their, um, they think that's the, the way to go, but even though it's not the kind of car or vehicle that most Americans then want to buy? Well, they're not really going to force them in that regard. And even if you look at the uh, EPA stuff that, uh, you know, they put forward the earlier this week, like, or was it last week? Anyway, um, you know, where we're going to uh, increase fuel efficiency standards over the next few years. Um, you know, there is a lot of latitude built in there. Uh, the only the difficulty is, yes, they very much want to push uh, towards a smaller and more fuel-efficient car, certainly to electric cars. There's a lot to be said uh, in favor of that. But the more you go in that direction, the more you're getting into the most sort of carnivorous, hyper-competitive part of the market, taking the Japanese head-on, the Koreans head-on. And, you know, the GM and Chrysler have made their money to the extent that they have made money, and they haven't for a while now, in the bigger cars, you know, the big engine cars, the pickups like our last caller owns, that's sort of the bread and butter of particularly Chrysler and General Motors, and it's going to be difficult for them to make that shift and figure out a way how to make money while doing it.